We're looking at the Impact Gamers games and we're on Playing Crazy, which is obviously really similar to Flappy Bird. Um, so it's only the, uh, the green button which uh, is to fly, so we press that to start. It's two player with the pink and the blue. And you have to guide yourself through the ball and I'm about to get a high score. Yeah. Um, and that's where you play it. And you hit the post or hit the bottom, you get quenched into the ball. So in terms of rules of games, this was a really quick one to make. Uh, actually, uh, that's a pad falling on the floor. Uh, Click Team Fusion uh, had a had a making a Flappy Bird clone in I think three minutes video, um, which if you're really good at uh, at knowing where things are in Fusion, you can you can watch it and understand what's happening. If you're not because of the speed everything was going at, then uh, they have a longer sort of ten minute version. But there's not many rules, and it's all based around that uh, every set amount of time, so a seven hundredth of a second. If the plane or the your character is facing any of those directions other than down, then you just set your direction to current direction minus one. So you're tipping it forward and forward and forward and forward and forward, um, and then it's just got a set speed on it. So they're actually controlled as a bouncing ball. They're not controlled by player. Uh, they're controlled by a bouncing ball. Um, but because you're locking, you've got an always command I believe let's have a look is there an always command always set X position to 250 and 200 just so that you can separate the two players so they don't overlap each other so that you always um, always fix position there now the trees I had a bit of trouble with them because I had them as one um, as one item and that didn't work very well so I split them into two uh, and um, they just travel along. Uh, they're also set as a bouncing ball with uh, just a set direction. So they travel at a set speed and uh, when they get to zero you set set them back to the end of the uh, frame uh, and also set the Y position to a random uh, a random amount th between zero and 299 plus 428 but that's only because of the size of the screen uh, which just means that they can be up high or, or down low and then the other part uh, you've just got to always set the position at zero zero from it so the gap remains the same so the action point on this is actually minus is up here somewhere so this is linking with the action point on this one which is actually <coughs> probably just at the bottom somewhere yeah, it's just off the bottom down here, so that they, they join together. Uh, so that's it, and then the high score is just saved. Once you get a high score, it's just saved uh, as whoever's got the high score. And there's also, if you press R, you can reset the high score, but obviously in the arcade machine, there is no R button unless you access the keyboard on the back. Right, thank you.